Okay, I'm gonna try and do this as fast as I can because the sun is going down and it is a race against time. But, yay, our channel flipped through. Okay, um, this is the last journals that I've done. Um, after I'm done with this flip through, I'm caught up, so all my journals will be online for everyone to flip through them. Um, I have 8, 9, 11, and 12. You might think, where's number 10? I already did a flip through of it because that was when I did my art journal every day for the month of January. Um, so there's already a video up there for book 10. But yeah, um, I might do this a bit too fast, so if you can, please pause on them. There's a page that particularly stands out to you just so that because I know I'm probably gonna do this really fast so just press pause um, and I just admire it if you want to do that more okay let's get started I think I'm gonna start with book eight just because to go in order why not um, okay let's do it okay here's book eight also I apologize for any unnecessary noise that might happen because it seems that every time I choose to film a video everything just wants to make noise I don't know what to do about it this is how it is, okay? It, it comes with the aesthetic of the chaos of my art journaling, just comes with the chaos of noise. But, okay, um, this journal I made, let's see, November to December um, 2020. So it's not that long, these are pretty new. To be fair though, I still don't really remember them because my memory is terrible. Um, but yeah, I think this journal, I really did a lot of abstract stuff. That's one thing I think I remember from this journal. Um, also, it took me, I did it in about two months because it's that, so usually that means I did it a bit slower. Usually I do about a journal per month, like one per month, so yeah, um, yeah, see I'm doing a lot of these kind of things. This is, um, acrylic paints and oil pastels, um, and a lot of just layering. I was really into layering at this time, so yeah. I think one thing that, um, I can really see in, in this time of my journaling is I was doing a lot of painting. For some reason i think it's just because i had a lot of paint and i wanted to use it it's a nice page i like this a lot of my flip throughs just consist of me saying either i hate this page or i really like this page but yeah these are um echo line watercolors i really like this page how it turned out this is um an envelope i think some from some mail i got and i just ripped it up This is a thing I do a lot of the times is I um, paint on a separate piece of paper and I glue it in because these pages are just really thin. Um, yeah, because these are a, this is a Muji A6 journal. They're really cheap. They're like around $2, I think, Canadian. So yeah, I don't like to spend a lot of money on my journals because I just, I, uh, whenever I spend more money on a journal, I feel like I need to put better quality stuff in it for some reason. Like I think like the art has to match the price. So when I buy a cheaper journal, I just feel better when I'm to use it and I just use it a lot more. So yeah, but anyways, the pages are kind of thin. So if I paint on one page, I like to make sure because it does bleed through. So I will, um, I'll cover it up with some other paper. Simple way of putting it. Because yeah, I, um, sometimes the stuff will bleed through and things like that. So this is, I always make sure to put who my inspiration is by because you know, Give credit where credit is due. Um, yeah. This page is falling apart. I don't really glue that much into my books. Um, I usually just put like a little bit of tape. This was, um, I actually made a video on this, I think, but I didn't really do much with it. It's kind of plain, but yeah. How's it going? Mood. Yeah, I see a lot of painting in this journal. This is some watercolor, more acrylic stuff. I think this is um, a song, I think. I believe it's a song. You good? And here, just a letter to myself. I always write letters at the end of my camera cut out, but um, yeah, I was just saying that I always write letters to myself at the end of my journals just because they're a story, it's like a book for myself and my life, so yeah. There's the end of book eight, let's go to book nine. 
book nine, I believe this is me doing a lot of acrylic painting. This kind of just signals that this is going to be a very chaotic paint book, but... And I also did this in December, which is finals time for me, so I think a lot of the things in this book are going to be kind of fast-paced and chaotic, but usually ends up with some pretty nice stuff. Um, this is an old stamp. And yeah, I think when I do it, when I do a journal in just a month, it's usually pretty fast paced. I'm usually doing around maybe like one page or two pages a day. I really like this, this kind of stuff I was doing though. I really enjoyed it. Um, it takes so long to dry though, a really long time to dry. <laughs> I was doing a lot of line stuff too. I think that's one thing I'm really developing with my style is, I don't know, I really like doing lines for some reason. I don't, I don't know what this is, but a lot of the times I flip these are just me talking about pages that I like and pages that I don't like and just roasting myself, but yeah. So you're not going to like every page that you make, but there will be some pages that you thoroughly actually do like. I really like this page. This is the, the kind of the technique where you, um, you put paint on one side of your page and then you just close it and you open it up again and then you get a nice design. I believe, I think this was inspired by Pinterest. Yeah, more of this stuff because I was really liking that. Okay. Also, yeah, when I get in in finals time, I'm really stressed, so a lot of my pages end up becoming really kind of moody. Um, oh, I think this was my favorite page of this journal, actually. I just really enjoyed it. There's just something about it. I don't know. And I did it again in, like, my, um, my book 10, because I really enjoyed it. I like this page, too, actually. This is with kind of, like, a metallic marker, so it kind of makes it shiny. And same thing, kind of think I wrote a letter to myself in this one as well. Yeah. And there we go. There's book nine. Okay, now here's book 11. Um, like I said before, book 10, the flip through was already up because that was part of my art journal every day for the month of January video. So yeah, book 10's already done. So here's book 11. Um, I did this one in February. And I believe I was just taking things a lot slower because I was, I was journaling every day for January, so I was kind of just, I really wanted to take breaks with this one and just slow things down, um, which I believe, like, I really follow that now. I'm kind of like, to be fair, I'm kind of over with art journaling. I need a break from it. So, um, yeah, but I think I really like the pages that I made. These ones are really new too, so this is only in February. Um, a lot of oil pastel stuff I was doing. A lot of line stuff, like I was saying. I... Who are you? What is this? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I was also just trying to like just figure out new stuff. I was feeling like my art was being really repetitive, um, which I mean, it's kind of ironic though, because in order for you to make your art good, you need to practice and you need to be repetitive so that you can, you know, get better at it. But I was just feeling like I wanted things to be mixed up and I wanted new to learn new techniques. And yeah, I really did that, did that in my next journal too. So that's one thing I've really noticed I've been trying to do lately in this new year. This is with um, a hole puncher, a puzzle piece hole puncher that I got um, from Daiso. And yeah, I like individually glued each piece in. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, these were with, uh, I made some pages for a Valentine's Day video, just kind of like for some ideas. So yeah, Pingu. I didn't, so like, I don't have a significant, uh, significant other to make the Valentine's Day pages for, so I just put Pingu in. I really like this page. This one's nice. Another Valentine's Day page. Um, these are also with echo lines, just like watercolor stuff. I don't really like to do water watercolors in this because as you can see, they bleed through really heavily. So I don't really use them that much in these type of journals.
pages are falling apart. I need to glue these in a bit more. It's okay. Um, more acrylic paint. And there's something I was really, I'm really into this type of font lately. I don't really do calligraphy as much. I just, I don't know why, but I'm really feeling this, this type of drawing, this type of, I don't know, art font stuff. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know about like when you do journaling, but my last few pages of my journals are always kind of whack because I'm kind of, I'm kind of just in the mood to just finish it and move on to the next journal. Like I just want it to be done. So I kind of rush through it. So my last few pages are never really that fantastic. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's the end of book 11 and now on to book 12. Okay. And here we go. Last but not least book 12. This is the most recent one. Um, in this journal i did art journaling every day for the month of march on tiktok so all the videos for that are on tiktok so if you want to see how i made all these pages they're all there okay um this is the most recent one so i yeah i just finished it um and i, I thoroughly just really enjoyed everything i made in this journal because you know it's kind of like your best work um whenever i do an art journal every day for the for a month i always make some really great stuff just because i feel like it really pushes me since I'm putting everything up online um, and making videos about it. I just want to make sure that I do my best work. So I usually end up making some pretty nice pages. Um, but one thing I really learned from art journaling every day for like a month is that it's a lot of work and it kind of takes a lot out on you. So yeah, after I don't think it's, it's going to be a while before I do it again, just because it, it's just a lot. Um, I really like this page. This is like collage stuff. Yeah. Um, I also was really trying to like learn new styles in this journal because i was i was really done with being repetitive so yeah like i, stu I tried studying some new art styles so this here's cubism um yeah and throughout the journal i just really tried to learn some new things i don't know like i just didn't want to be like stagnant in my art so yeah this was um i did a collab with mellow moons that's it i really like it it's a wolf pack song um and i just feel like the colors of it i think this journal is really colorful that's one thing i really admire about it Yeah, there's just a lot of colors in it and yeah i really like that this page i did using only my left hand so my non-dominant hand and like it made me really frustrated i don't know why like i was just really angry having to do everything with like my left hand it just it made me really just like annoyed after i finished it um yeah this here is with a, a sponge yeah i was just really trying to do some new techniques this here i like did some research on neoplasticism just, just to learn some new styles and yeah uh this page was kind of just like a response because there was just a lot of like you know everything that's going on with like racism and stuff and i really just wanted to make a page that just kind of you know sums it up you know i mean doesn't even sum it up barely breaches the surface but i just wanted to make a page that was about it yeah some of my pages like these are with mild liners. Some of my pages, you know, these are with Tombos. What was I even saying? Some of my pages are like, you like them or you don't. And it's always the pages that I don't like, which are the pages that everybody else likes. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, that's just how it happens. I literally, I spelled this wrong on the TikTok. So if you see that on TikTok, I know I spelled it wrong. I fixed it now, but yeah, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> we all can't be perfect. Um, this is one of my favorite pages with these circle things. I used the hole puncher and I cut out some circles and painted them and uh, it just turned out really nice. I enjoyed how it turned out. These are with um, like Posca pens. This is some finger painting. I don't know, wanted to appeal back to my five-year-old self in kindergarten. Yeah, this is the page i spilled water all over it oh um yeah this page is an example of one where i don't really like it but everyone else likes it um i don't know why it's a, it's a bit too plain for me i think i needed some more like bolder colors it's, it's a bit like faded but these are all with tombos and i think some muji pens i really like this one i think like the colors just worked really well together and i, I just bought this like silver type of paint yeah, I think it worked out really nice. And I just, I really like this technique for some reason. It really appeals to me right now. Hang in there. Um, this is just with some sewing, some thread. I have like absolutely no skills in sewing. So just doing this was like already a huge thing for me. 
but and it's just with pencil crayon um i probably could have used like some pen it probably would have been a bit more clean but yeah with the pencil i just wanted to like mimic kind of what i was doing with the thread but yeah and i think that's it yeah then here's just another letter to myself i always finish my journals with a letter because i find like my, my journals are a story they're a book of me so i like to write about what's going on in my life at the moment so when i look back on it in the future i just have like a little note to myself but yeah there we go so that was the flip through i hope you all enjoyed it um please let me know some of your favorite pages i love when um people tell me what pages stood out to them or what pages really were inspiring so yeah i hope this this um inspires you to start maybe art journaling art journaling has brought me so much joy um even though i'm kind of taking a break from it just because i need a break from it but yeah i hope this gives you some inspiration on your own journals um yeah take up art journaling we're in a really crazy time right now and you need a place to put your feelings so if something bothers you you know put it in a journal just don't keep it inside put it in put it on your pages um these journals mean a lot to me you know i put my heart and soul into them um like i said they're stories they're books they hold a piece of my life in them so yeah look how nice and thick they are when they're filled they look so nice i love that i love that okay um yeah i'm done talking i'll see you when i make a new journal or whenever i do something but um yeah i hope you liked this video and i'll see you in the next one stay safe everyone and take care of yourselves all right bye